Thank you, candidates. We're now going to move on to the question and answer portion of this debate. And Mr. Thomas, you will go first. And this is a chance to clear the air on a couple of issues that have been going back and forth between the two of you. Candidate Thomas, you have questioned candidate Pesca's Planned Parenthood funding votes. As you understand it, what is his voting record and why is it important to voters? I think this is a race, especially when we're in a primary. It is critical that we have a jobs plan. It's important that we're talking about what our vision is to make sure we can turn around the economy. But I also believe strongly in values, our democratic core and progressive values. And Mr. Pesco, when he was in the legislature, according to the Battle Creek Inquirer, when 15 bills came up on women's rights, he voted with Republicans on every single one. And as Mr. Senator mentioned, one of them was a key vote protested by the ACLU and a number of people on the floor that defunded Planned Parenthood. He voted for it. I believed it was wrong. I believe strongly that people should take notice that he received a 0% score from Planned Parenthood and a 100% score from Michigan Right to Life. And I'll submit to you that I don't believe someone with that background should be on a ticket with Barack Obama and Debbie Stabenow. One, National Planned Parenthood just endorsed me in the race yesterday. Two, Governor Jennifer Granholm is standing with me. And the Progressive Women's Alliance of Grand Rapids has endorsed me in this race as the only pro-choice candidate. And also, I want to address Social Security. Because you see, my parents are on this program. And my grandparents, for them, it was their only source of income. It was their lifeline. And so I want to be very, very clear that I have said time and time again that I will not cut and I will not privatize Social Security or Medicare or Medicaid. And I believe the distortion that Mr. Pesca is confused about is the fact that I have owned being a member of the debt generation. And so people my age may have to make adjustments to be able to strengthen the program. There are a few ways we can do it. And I'll, one of them. I'll have to cut you off there. Okay. You're past your time.